Whether you're on location with a client or shooting a recipe in your living room, food photography is all about using what you have to get the job done. These eight easy food photography hacks will instantly make your photos better, and I bet you have a lot of the materials on hand already. You don't have to take my word for it though, let's put two minutes on the clock and jump into a real life example so we can see these hacks in action. Try dulling spray for an easy, non-permanent way to take the shine out of things like metal trays and silverware. To keep fresh herbs perky while styling a shoot, keep them in ice water. We'll come back to these later to see them after they're refreshed. Don't have enough food to fill a bowl? Place a smaller bowl of the same color upside down in it to create the illusion that it's full. Cups and tall glassware often look distorted at the edge of a photo on overhead shots, especially when using a zoom lens. Use furniture wedges to tilt them slightly, making them appear level. Back to our chilled herbs. Look how much better the one on the left looks than the one that was left in the fridge. Meats start to look dull and old almost as soon as they are cooked. When you're ready to shoot, brush a little canola oil on the surfaces that catch the light. Just don't overdo it. Check out this before and after. Soak cotton balls in water and microwave them to fake steam. This works best with a dark background shooting straight on. Okay, now let's jump into a birthday cocktail shoot for the rest of the hacks. Tired of racing against the clock in cocktail shoots? Try fake ice. This works especially well in opaque drinks and overhead shots. A touch of corn syrup works wonders as edible glue to keep sprinkles in place. I'll link all of the products I used in this video in the description box below. And that's it, and with a few seconds to spare. Like I said, easy to do and I bet you already have a lot of these things on hand. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and of course hit that subscribe button. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can find me at a side of sweet. Thanks so much for watching and for all your support. I'll see you in my next video.